Go ahead. Just raise it up. There you go. But hold it first. Hold it for me. No, no, no. There you go. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Hey, that's Peanut. I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures, where every day is an automotive adventure. But, we, but before we get into today's video, let's give an official shout out to our official sponsor. GraphicsBlockVA.com. Right there. Reach out to them. Contact them. Graphic needs. Checked. You know, decals. Check. You know, all that. Oh, I'm, tumblers. Check. T-shirts. Check. Hats. Check. Uh, laser engraving. They can do it for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So just reach out to them, y'all, and tell them that, and Team Run It, just tell them that we sent you Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Yeah. Next, go ahead, Peanut. Innovative Powders. Innovative Powders. That's our next sponsor. Anything powder coated, y'all, they can do it. They're getting it to Sir coating too, man. So I'm going to have to contact him, too. I keep saying that, but I need to do it. Get them headers to them and get them Sir coated uh, for the drag car. No, they in, they in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've been repaired too, so they can be Cerakoted now. Um, you know, reach out to them for all your powder coat needs. You know, contact them. Contact information is going to be right there on the screen. Reach out to them, y'all. You know, uh, treat our sponsors well, Team Run It. Treat them well. All right, today's video, uh, we're just going to do a little oil change on the Cadillac. Uh, CTS V Sport, our twin turbo V6 Cadillac, 3.6 liter. Uh, show them the, the, the oil. Well, I, Actually, let me turn the, I'm gonna turn the camera around, Peanut, and show them, you know, the oil that we use. It's about time for oil change. Last time we did oil change was last June. Tomorrow's about to be June, I mean, July 1st. So we need to go ahead and get right and get this oil change going. And while we doing the oil change, we are just gonna be talking to you guys about some of the things we got coming up and some of the things that we're trying to do and accomplish uh, here on our channel and Peanuts Automotive Adventures. All right, let me turn this around. All right, guys. This time I had to go with a Wix oil filter, which the Amsoil oil filters are Wix. See, I got some Amsoil oil filters up there. They ain't nothing but Wix. So stopped at the local parts store and got a Wix filter. So I'm gonna let Peanut hold that right there. And we going with the 5W30 Amsoil synthetic uh, motor oil signature series. We always go with that in all our cars. Amsoil everything, as y'all can see. We got the racing oil there. We got the small engine oil for the lawnmowers right there. Uh, Two-stroke dominator oil. That's what we use in our uh, weed eaters. Uh, let me show them what else before we get going on this. Uh, you know, severe gear, 70, 75, 90 oil. Peanut got that. I mean, we use everything AMS oil, y'all. Gasoline PI improver, we got that. That's Ann's oil right there for her car. I just got to make sure I got her oil filter because she's doing oil change in July. Slip lock. Slip lock right there. Ann's oil. Only thing we didn't go Ann's oil on when we did, uh, we just got done last Sunday doing the service on our zero turn lawnmower. But we just went ahead and went with the uh, premium hydrostatic. I just didn't want to go away from that. Uh, what else, Peanut? What else we got? Going, oh, Amsoil, dude, they're selling car care products now, too, Team Run It. So, you know, and if you ain't noticed already, I am a Amsoil dealer. We are, right? Yeah. We are Amsoil dealers. So if you need anything Amsoil related, you know, contact us, email us. We can get it to you, set you up an account and all that good stuff. But, but we use it on everything. We even used it on that right there. Uh, the golf cart. I did use it on the rear end only on this truck because I, I redid the rear end output seals of course yeah. and y'all know that but today we're gonna go ahead do the oil change 
I don't know if they can see it or not, but last time I changed it was, bam, June 2nd of last year. We haven't even hit the mileage yet. Uh, we're about a thousand miles from that, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it because it's about to be July, right? Yeah. So we might as well change it. July. Man, I can't get up, y'all. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Oh, we even used it on this Junior Dragster too. That's why we got Amzol racing on it. We got Amzol on that. Yeah, we used it yeah. on the Junior Dragster. Uh, and we're gonna use it on here, right? Yep, Amzol right there. We represent, y'all. We represent when it comes yeah. to Amzol. We really do. Uh, again, this is our Cadillac CTS V Sport 3.6 liter twin turbo. So because of the turbos, I really want to use the best oil possible. And to me, in my opinion, the best oil possible for me throughout all my years being in the automotive game has been uh, Amsoil and Schaefer's. Schaefer's. I don't see nothing wrong with Schaefer's. Uh, Schaefer has a good oil. And, yep, this is it, y'all. This car has been really good to us. Yeah. You know, not nice, nice this car is a nice power for a V6, and y'all know how I feel about the V6s, especially turbocharged. Yeah. Because the Buick is what? V6. V6, right? Yeah. See, Peanut, no. Peanut, no. You know, right? You know, you representing. That's what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, twin turbo. This car scoots, y'all. The fastest I done had this car in a quarter mile was a 1255 at 100, I want to say a 9 or 110 miles per hour. And the only thing that's done to the car is a K&N drop-in. Right here. Matter of fact, I'm glad I'm talking about that. I need to check that. K and N drop in and a tune from Trifecta Tune. That's it. Trifecta, I think I want to call it Motorsports, but it has a trif no, I took it off because it broke. But it has a Trifecta tune on it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And we was running twelve fifty fives and uh with me sitting in it, the car was right at forty three hundred pounds. So, yeah. you know, she uh, she she turned up just a little bit, but but not a lot. And also, let me name the other modification that we have right here is the heat exchanger uh, reservoir right here, courtesy of Caddy Issues uh, Incorporated. I think he's incorporated. But Caddy Issues, uh, this car was the prototype for it. So we added to the heat exchanger and to the uh, heat exchanger pump some, some head um, pressure to the pump to where it's a self-bleeding system because you never want um, air in your system, right? And he also yeah. gave me this block off right here too. And, and it's been holding up very well, no leaks, no anything. Yeah. But yeah, the heat exchanger is right here. And he gave me a word of advice. I took the metal plate off that was right here. It was like a, a steel plate that was right here. And I took the engine cover off, the actual engine cover, because heat rises, y'all. So you want the heat to rise away from the engine, especially the heat exchangers for when that airflow from the turbos are going through the heat exchanger. You just want that. You want those IATs low. Yeah. You know, intake air temperature low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he gave me that word of advice and I did it and I, and I stuck to it too. Also, this system, this prototype been on the car since 2021, no issues, no problems, no nothing, no leaks, none of that, y'all. You know, so I'm happy with that. Hey, thank you, Caddy Issues. Cal, Mr. Cal, thank you for me being a prototype. But all right, let me go ahead, uh, let me and Peanut go ahead and get this thing in the air safely. And we're going to talk to y'all in a few. All right. Oh! <laughs> oh! They go ahead. We trying to put the oil in it. Yep. We almost done team running. I like how GM put the oil filter and the oil drain plug right next to each other, right? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. I tell y'all what though. All right, let me go ahead and tighten this up real good. Yeah. A, just snug. And let's drop this down so I can clean up. Yeah. I don't care how long I've been doing this, but I'm always messy when it comes to oil. I don't know why. Always. All right. Let's clean this. All right. This can move out the way. Okay. Yeah, 
Go ahead. Just raise it up. There you go. But hold it first. Hold it for me. No, no, no. There you go. And now drop it in and let it drip a little bit for us. Go ahead. Open up your next one. You got it? Alright, let me go ahead and grab this one. Try to get every drop out of it. Every drop. I need by that little thing where you can put these bottles in and then it'll drain into another bottle. Like you put the old ones on this. I'll show it to you. I think Amazon sells it too. Go ahead. You got it. Yep. Getting it together, team running. Yep. Go ahead. You got it? You got bow up on it. Go ahead. Got it? There you go. There it is. All right. That's two so far. This is the third one. So I believe it takes seven or 6.9, something like that. Uh-uh. Grab that. Grab it. Just grab it. No, grab it, go on, your, go on your station. There you go, that's you. We like an assembly line. All right, hold on. All right, go ahead with the next one. Teach them young, team run it, teach them young. Teach them young. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me grab this one. See, it's still dripping a little. Hold on, hold on. See, run, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a little hot, but we got the fans going. Yeah. That's probably why come y'all can't hear us that good. We got the fans going. Yeah. Because it's humid today, but we got to get this done. All right, go ahead. All righty. All right, Team Ronnie, we're going to go ahead and close out this video. Uh, we ran into a minor hiccup, minor hiccup. Go get it, Peter. Go get the wall. Uh, not minor hiccup. Remember what I said earlier in the video? I'm happy that I touched that air filter. Uh, right now, we're letting the k and uh, air filter. Uh, we cleaned it. We're letting it dry before we yeah. apply this oil on it. Uh, so we got to let it dry thoroughly before we even put the oil on it and bring it back out of the garage. So we're gonna allow it to dry. Uh, we're not gonna skip any procedures on an easy maintenance task, right? So, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and close out this video and we appreciate all the support. Thank you for the views. And we couldn't do this without you guys, you know what I'm saying? Y'all keep us going. Um, hopefully we can bring, you know, a little bit of car show content to you guys, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get some cars and coffee content you know some yeah. uh we need to make it back out to steve v's automotive and get some tech uh content going again uh because he's very good when it comes to the tech stuff right yeah he knows it especially when it comes to Buick grand national stuff but that's just me brainstorming y'all me trying to get my thoughts our thoughts together and to make stuff happen but hey that's peanut i'm james it's peanuts automotive ventures we out peace, peace.